is that time weekend. I'm Jeff Nicholas Keneal, and let's just jump into it. Let's start the show. So I'm excited for this new ingredient this week, which I've been keeping on the back burner for a while now. So it's the first time I've actually used black chickpeas. Yeah, there's such thing, black chickpeas. Crazy, right? Product of Italy. Amazing. So how I found them was because my best friend told me about this place called Big John's, which has been around in Seattle for some time now, which integrated a lot of cool ingredients which I've never even heard of. So when I walked into the store, it was like, literally like I lived in France again. It reminded me of France, of the stores. And I was like, wow, this is super cool. So I walked in there and I just find black chickpeas. And I'm like, wow, that's the first time I've ever used this. So let's give it a go. So what I ended up doing was, I actually paired that with pink salmon, which my friend Jose actually gave me some pink salmon. I was like, sure, thank you. I'm like, yeah, just play with it, experiment. Maybe give it to your clients or something like that. Absolutely. Now here's some things you need to know about black chickpeas. They take forever to cook. At least three hours. Maybe it was two hours. I don't fully remember, but I know I was going, oh my God, can you be done already? So anyway, what I did first was I actually soaked them beforehand. Then I actually boiled them. I brought it to a bowl, then bring it to a simmer. And then I added cinnamon sticks to give it a little more flavor to it. I don't know, it made it really aromatic in the home, you know? It was kind of cool. I was experimenting, right? You know, I'm experimenting at home before I give it to my clients and stuff like that. You know how it works. Then I got some heirloom tomatoes, which were super ripe, like incredible, like amazing. So when I diced that up and threw it into the pan, I just wanted to bring it up, you know, to a simmer slightly. And I threw some lemon verbena, verbena, and you don't want to overpower it. You just want to give that slight taste to it. And it was amazing. It was so sweet, these alien tomatoes. So I took some of that dew and I put it onto the pink salmon, which I broke down previously and put into a foil. And then added some more lemon verbena and got some citron, I mean, lemons. Sliced that on there and grilled it to give it a little smokiness to it. And oh my God, that was amazing, amazing. Now finally, my chickpeas were actually done. So I grabbed them and I tasted them and it was interesting about them was they tasted the similar but once I pureed the chickpeas it had a bitterness to it and they were actually starchy as well. So I had to add in a lot of water to it to get it to you know hummus consistency and some lemon juice and some salt. And that's literally all I did to it. So I didn't want to mess with it too much, right? And yeah, it tasted great. I love the color, it was amazing. So at that point when that was done, I just grabbed my pan, threw in some kale, finished up with the alien tomatoes, and I grabbed the sauteed greens and stuff like that, plated it up and boom, 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 bah. That was it, like, it was really good. I was just proud of the dish in general. The flavors are incredible. The pink salmon, amazing, with that black chickpea. Just uh, keep in mind, if you ever want to use this, uh, you're gonna have to use a lot of water. A lot of water, because it's very starchy, indeed, very indeed. Okay, this salad is incredible, especially the dressing part. I was overly excited, if I say the least. Not in this moment, what I'm explaining, but when I was trying it, I was what you would call a little schoolgirl. Oh my god! I had this wacky idea of getting bananas and walnuts, because I was feeling like banana walnut bread, and I couldn't get it because I didn't want to make it because, you know, I don't want to eat healthy and stuff like that. So I ended up actually getting caramelized onions and I threw that into the blender with banana and walnut oil to make banana walnut dressing, which was really good. So I actually talked to my wife and she's like, what is it now? What, what do you want? I'm like, try this. Tell me what you think. He's like, is that banana? I know. It is. And to finish it, I just grabbed cauliflower, threw it into my little slicer, and to make it really thin and stuff, mixed it with some mixed greens and daikon and radish, and plated it up, and boom bop. Okay, my last dish, which is a simple one, which will make fast paste. So this is a tofu broccoli dish. Now, what I did for this was quite simple. Grab some tofu, dice it up, threw it in the oven, then I got grilled green peppers, with them up beforehand and then slice it up. Now, what I did to make this dish was quite simple. Grab some sunchokes, 
boiled them, pureed them, and had that on the side. As that was on the side, I grabbed my broccoli with served lemons and mixed it together. And, well, it mixed it together into the pan to heat it up and make it cook and stuff like that, you know? It's cooking, it's cooking. Anyway, that was pretty much it. It was quick and easy. Wow, that sounded really strange, didn't it? Like, that did not make any sense. It did, it really did. You just gotta put it together and remove my voice and you'll realize it's there. All right, you know the drill. I'm Chef Nicholas Kinnear. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. And of course, if you wanna follow us on our page, you can click the icon over here. Yep, if you're on mobile. And if you're on the desktop, right over here, which will take you to the page, and you just say, hey, I wanna be part of your page. And that's it. And if you wanna follow my goofy self, I'm actually on Instagram as well, and tell little stories, what's going on, stuff like that. And I actually wanna give you an announcement. I actually launched a new product, which is really cool. It's a magazine. I've been putting this together. I got to validate the idea. Didn't think it was actually gonna work, but it actually did. Surprising enough. It's been on the back burner for at least a year, but I launched it finally, and yeah, college students are wanting this. So, cool. But, but, I digress. How things work. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week, and peace.